Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lolita Loca, and it is day seven of our Celebrity Equinox day Cruise. Day seven already. Where are we going to port at today, Jenny? We're not. It's a sea day. It's the last day. <laughs> this isn't cool. The Cruise Blues are just around the corner. And just around the corner, you have another adventure. I don't want to think about that now. I just want to wallow in my sadness. <laughs> but we, hey, the quick time check, it's a little bit after nine o'clock. We had a time change, kind of threw us off. We lost an hour and so a, a little groggy. We're, we're Cafe de Bacchio, we're getting some coffee in us and some pastry. And we got a couple cool experiences coming up. First of all, at 9.30, we've got a behind the scenes uh, backstage tour in the theater. Yes. And then we got a galley That's tour. Exciting. So it's gonna be a busy sea day. It's the last day, but we wanted to say good morning, track along with us, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll find a way to stow away on this cruise ship. That would be cool. There's also a hurricane coming to Florida. I don't wanna think about that right now either. So uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a whole Escape from Florida video coming, I think. All right, let's get into the day. Good morning. Good morning. Coffee time. I need my coffee. Good morning. And do the shows change? The, the, show the dance, on the ship? yes, on the ship. Uh, the shows change about every four years. Okay. So, uh, company, the celebrity went in house with all their shows, and they create the different shows. Uh, I think Topper's been open for almost four years, so it should be. So we might have a bit of a show <coughs> change up soon. I'm not I'm totally sure on that. But. Backstage we go. I didn't hear. The relaxation place? Yes. Oh, very nice. Between the shows, actually. Thank you. I wouldn't have anticipated all this being behind the stage, right? Especially not a second level. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Costumes. How oh, cool. After each show and before each show, this is where we can get them and put them away. So we can have the boys and girls side, and in the middle, these are all our props. So one show which you, unfortunately you don't get to see is called Topper, and we use these umbrellas, um, these hats here, the hats behind you. Um, so in that show, there's three different sections. There's the warrior section, which we use the warrior helmets for. Um, flower section, which of course we use flower hats for, and the robot section, and we have um, bike helmets for that. So, uh, I don't know if you saw, but we did um, a theme night called Sizzle, and the boys just wear very nice all black with a very nice waistband, um, mm. yeah. and trousers for them. Yeah. A bit like a uh, Matthew Bond Swan Lake. Uh, any questions? Do, do they bring your costumes to you, or are you responsible to come here to get what you need for your show? Or? We are responsible for all of our costumes, so before each show, I'll, I have to come get my costumes, and I, I have to put my costumes away. So when we do quick changes on either stage right or stage left, uh, after each show, we'll have to pick the towel, we have to put the towel in the uh, dirty towel bin, bring costumes back up here, either box the spray them to put them back, or give them to AJ, who washes them for us. So Age is our costume uh, captain, he's in charge of repairs, uh, washing, drying, making sure everything's okay with costumes. If there is a problem, he'll send an email to Genesis, the head of wardrobe, back in Miami, and she'll sort it out from there. Very cool. Nobody. Normally they have spare costumes behind you, so it says top of there, so they'll be the top of costumes. Those are the Christmas costumes just in here, which is the things we wear in. Um, during the holiday season, so they have like there's a lot going on, right? I, I bet you it's hectic, like during showtime. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Right, just to sit there. Yeah. It's very cool. The, it looks like where they keep the ropes, yeah. I do one of the roll packs as well as well as, yeah. So uh, on here, and uh, we do the specialty, um, yeah, relax. Mm -hmm. I'm only allowed to use this rope. My partner Tiki, he only uses his rope, and Igor uses his own rope. Because me and Tiki use what we call rosin, which helps us stick to the rope as such. She's, that's her job, she has to check all the air. If anything goes wrong, it's, it's all your stuff, huh? Oh, gosh, yeah. so and then this way, this is a quick stage area, a uh, stage left. So I do a lot of my quick changes in here. This is where I put my rope because I'm on this side of the stage for it. Um, in Topper, there's four people getting changed in here, plus four other helpers who help us get quick change because it'll be one entire costume off, one entire costume on, back on stage, and that takes about a minute to do so. So it is quite a hefty quick change area. So start the show, this will start at zero and just go up, and then at certain points, certain, happen, certain things happen during the show. Thank you. Down and put um, stuff onto it to bring it back up, and it still comes to about I think like this high coming up as well. 
Thank you. So Jenny, yes. what do you think about this behind the scenes backstage tour? It was pretty cool to see the ins and outs. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I didn't think there was that much behind the stage, but uh, a really great tour. It lasted uh, probably like 45 minutes yeah. and uh, a lot of great information. I, it gives you a whole new appreciation for the shows. Absolutely. Yeah. All that goes into changing of the... Changing of the guards. Changing the, yeah, and changing of the clothes. That's right. They have to do a bunch of quick changes. Excellent. All right, so there's a great show here tonight. We're coming back to see some of these people that we uh, got to see on the tour. Going to see life tonight. Mm -hmm. But now we have a galley tour. Do you want to go see what the kitchen looks like? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So we have a few minutes between tours, and they're having a merengue dance class with one of the people that gave the tour for the behind the scenes. So. We're not actually gonna try to learn the merengue, but I will show you people trying to learn the merengue. Taking a quick break here. class is happening in the Grand Foyer. It's been a hot spot on this cruise of things, activities. Uh, quick time check, it's about 10.30. Our tour is at 10.45. Uh, we're gonna tour the galley, so then maybe, maybe a special lunch. It's about 10.40 and we are about five minutes away from our galley tour. It starts here at the Silhouette Dining Room. Jenny, are you ready to see how the sausage is made? Yeah. They say you're not supposed to know how the sausage is, but I, I think this is going to be exciting. <laughs> yeah. A lot of great food coming out of these kitchens on the ship. Can't wait to see the operation. It's uh, probably huge. Probably huge. Galley right. tour. Good morning. I only have to get oh, some fantastic. very yes. private yes. tour. Very, very small. Very personalized. He can take videos, right? Yeah. yeah. Why Perfect. not? We have nothing to hide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Please follow um, me. Mr. Mr. Bernard, I will leave right. you. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah? Absolutely. Thank you. So just watch the steps a bit when you go in, the surface of the floor will be totally different. For okay. us it's fine because we have compatible shoes for these tattles, so I just take caution. Okay. Be careful. It's not so sick, yeah, right? Because it's not wet anyway, it's fine. Okay. One of our two punches that we have for the main, the main uh, galley. Galley is on two decks. Yeah. So here we open, this two we open a punch. We saw over a thousand guests here. Oh wow. It's continuous from 515 straight until 930, 945. So on all these tables, there's two tables and there's six refrigerators below each of the tables. They are counted up. Uh, Mm. So they are all the, all temperature bridges, so we can uh, we can store things in that. So six and six and six is eighty. Plus below here we have three more. And here also is a cold well. So in service time we switch it on and it get frozen. And we keep all the standby salad dressing here. And this in the night time this is where we mix the Caesar salad. Okay. Plus the Caesar salad we have to mix it with water. We cannot mix and keep. The lettuce will not be crispy anymore because if you put a dressing it will get sucked. The whole coffee station where we go, this is our uh, coffee machine. So we have the fresh coffee beans inside. So we just switch it on when it's ready to use and we start to make the coffee room. The juice machine, this is where we do the regular coffee. So we have big cup and have regular over there. This is where we keep the milk. We have, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small fridge. Everything cool. Oh, nice. So when you're ready, we turn it down. We put the nozzle, and the milk is ready to get out. 
Good bread comes from. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the patient. This is our pastry chef, Mr. Vinet. Hi. Fully in charge of uh, all the all the sweets. In the, we make everything on board here, even the ice cream. We make our own ice cream, we make the gelatos, we make the survey, we make everything here on board. Every single thing. So now we are getting ready for the buffet upstairs, so all the decoration of the cakes over here. We have also our traveling uh, pastry chef, Mr. Rudolph from France. He is responsible for fleet white for the whole entire pastry on every single ship. Oh wow. So, we go up to Ocean View, you're gonna see all of this when they set up on the line over there. Excellent. Yeah. Edge feeling. So all this milk you see over here, that's it's not, uh, this half and half, so it's milk and cream. That's what we use to make the ice cream. So we have the base, 
The base is a, like a piece of powder, the stabilizer, so we mix it with a, with a half and half, we flavor it, and we pour it out in the machine, and the machine will whip it. And it's semi frozen, we pull the pin, put it in the container, and then the freeze on the side. We have our crumble, which is on the menu every day, it's ready here to make it out. We have our, uh, our chocolate cake. Every single thing we do on board, we do them from scratch. We buy all the dry products and we make everything for ourselves. All the soups, all the sauce, the breads, the pastries, the cakes, the ice cream. We make everything here on board. Every single day. Everything makes fresh by the day. Everything is amazing. Not just. We have only one dishwasher and one glassware washer. Downstairs we have two. So here, when the wipers stop, they separate the plates by size and we they segregate the garbage. So we have four different kinds of paint. Blue over there is only for cans and aluminum. Then the gray bin will be only for beer and wine bottles, or the, the glass bottle. Red bin, plastic and paper, which we burn here on board the ship. And then the yellow bin, which is inside of here, is only for the food waste. Except the bones, the bones will go in the red bin. So when the yellow bin reaches the limit, we pick it up and we dump it here. We go through it to make sure nothing is inside. And then there's a vacuum system, we put it up. Let everything go down inside of here. And everything becomes a pure. End up down in the incinerator room, which we get again in the bin. And we have two choices with this. We can dehydrate take away the water and burn the food or when we are 12 to 15 nautical miles at sea we can feed the fish. That's the only thing we allow to do in the ocean. The maritime law gives us from uh, 3 to 6 miles where we can dispose the, the food but we take it above and beyond we go 12 to 15. So we go way out of uh, land reach where we can feed the fish. So if we are in port every day we can't do any disposal of the food in the, in the ocean. So we burn everything. We burn it in the generator, the ash, the ash will go ashore. So we do a lot of grease like clean and reuse. So all the cardboard boxes that we take from the store, we break everything down. We bring it to the incinerator room, we put it in a machine and they strop them. We put them on the pallet, we go back ashore for recycling. The bottles, when we go down, we break them by color. There's a machine downstairs, so the clear bottle, green bottle, brown bottle, and we keep them in huge boxes or packs. Just the color, if it's green, we put green, brown, all of these short things wash off for recycling. The cans, we have a machine that crush everything together. All these items, when they wash off for recycling, we generate money for this. The money comes back to us, the two men. It goes in the Blue Welfare Fund and it means this money to do various things for the crew members. So we do the separation segregation and we get rewarded. So Celebrity Cruise we do a lot of recycling and reuse and we also in partnership with the World Wildlife Fund where we protect the reefs in the ocean for the That's how we work here at Celebrity Cruise. We take a lot of pride in what we do. Yeah, so this is how we do things here. Thank you very much. And I hope I was informative enough. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, quick time check. It is about 11.40. We just finished the galley tour. It was super cool. Uh, we went really deep in the galley. We saw some of our favorite foods being made and got a really good explanation from Chef Omar on what Celebrity does with their food waste and how it benefits the crew. Uh, super impressive. Jenny, what do you think? What, what did you see being made that you really enjoy? Of course, I enjoyed the bread, the <laughs> dessert. <laughs> Um, and of course the escargot. That it was, was cool to see cool how they made the escargot, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was, that was a great tour. Uh, Chef was wonderful and so clean. And I, re I tell you what I was really impressed with, it takes four minutes for them to do a cycle on a dishwasher. We need a four minute dishwasher. That would be very cool. What is up next for us, Jenny? 
Um, hopefully we get into Sushi at 5. Yeah. But we have a secret tour coming. That's right, while we were waiting in line for the galley tour, we got invited to a tour that they wouldn't tell us what it was. They just told us to be at deck 10, forward at 10 minutes till one. We're gonna try to sneak into sushi by five, five. What is it called, Jenny? Sushi on five. Sushi on five. Sushi on five. It's right over there, they don't open till noon. So we're here at our favorite coffee place, and we're gonna have some coffee, and then we're gonna have some sushi, and then we're gonna have a mystery secret. We can't even film the secret tour, but we can take pictures, and uh, we'll tell you all about it. That's exciting. I don't know what we're doing. Maybe we're going to Cruise Joe. All right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Sushi on five. Sushi on five. That's perfect. Thank you very much. So we, we crammed a lot in right there. We did do sushi on five. Wow, which the, was delicious. The lobster ramen and the sushi roll. Oh, and I had what I had the pork ramen. Oh, pork ramen. Ah. So good. And then yeah, just last minute we got invited to the bridge tour, and it was super cool. Uh, they kind of told us we, we went out on the wing of the ship, and they have a window that you can look down. Yeah. Uh, but the wing is super important. I'll have to talk about it more somewhere along the way. But learned so much. Want to share it? But wow, very cool. It was very exciting. We were, I'm very thankful that. We had that opportunity. Well, quick time check. It's about 1.40. Jenny, is it time? Do they see the glow on my face? It might be time for Jenny to test the fates. Uh, I'm trying to grab some more footage to show you guys, so I'm going to go grab the walk around camera and uh, make some video. But Jenny's going to win us a million dollars. A million dollars. She's starting with 60, so we'll see how it turns. Let's see how. We'll catch up again, again with Jenny later. You can tell us how you did on your $60. Okay. You can't just say you just broke even, too. you got to tell us the story. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to get back to the final day of cruising. So sad. There was an announcement that uh, that we are going to, the port's still open in Fort Lauderdale. They're going to bring us in early. So uh, it's going to be a race against Hurricane Doreen. Is it Doreen? Doreen, Dorian. Dorian? I don't Dorian. know. Let's call it Doreen so it could be a Mouseketeer. Doreen. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll catch up with you in just a bit. Bye. All right, guys, quick time check. It is 3.15. I just spent the last hour walking around the Celebrity Equinox for a guided ship tour. That video is already up. I will leave it linked above and in the description below. So if you really want to go look at the Equinox, if you, if you haven't had enough already of the vlogs or you didn't see it, make sure you go check it out. And uh, Jenny, uh, time to check in with you. You turned your $60 into a big fat goose egg. Zero. Zero. How long did it take to lose it? 
Uh, about an hour and a half. That's good, I guess. Is yeah, it? I guess. I am I not know. playing anymore. You're not? Nope. We'll Unless see. you put money in the what? machine for me. <laughs> All right, guys. We have La Petite. La Petite Chef. I'm so excited. La Petite Chef. We have La Petite Chef at uh, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And so that gives us a couple hours to cool off, to chill out, to maybe take a nap, possibly pack. I don't want to pack yet. Uh, and get ready for dinner. Are you, are you ready to pack, Jenny? Uh, I'm ready to pack because... No. Well, we have the dinner. Yeah. And then that great live show. Dinner, live show... Who life, knows? L I F E. Life, mm -hmm. but it's a live show. Yeah. And we met the people that are going to be in it. Oh, right. it's starting to rain again. Starting to rain. It's. We're going to outrun a hurricane. All right. Jenny. What are you? Where's my afternoon canopy? It is right here. Oh, cool. What do we got? Ooh. Yeah. Salmon. Tortilla chips. Something almond. Almond bar. And a cucumber salad. Yeah. What, what? Where's yours? <laughs> canapé looks. We're supposed to share. Canapé looks good. You want to eat? Yes. Let's see. Caviar. Oh, there is black caviar on the. Hello, little fishy. <laughs> you could have been a fish. <laughs> I like that they don't call it baby fishes. They call it roe, or caviar. Caviar. Hmm. All right. Canapé. Cheers. Can't pay, can't pee, can't beat, can't jay. has been so good all week. Oh, that's right. The iced tea we get daily. Mm -hmm. They gave us a bottle of wine, too, but we ain't gonna drink that. No. Let's do this. Chum. You can pay. Really? So, like, it's like uh, breaking the fourth wall. So, we're watching the front of the ship. And I wanted to show you guys this. We have booked it. Not the next cruise. I wish we had. But we've been going fast. Come on, change. My okay, before we get to that, there is the outside, super blue, super calm. There is the front, super cool. Quit eating all the canopy. Mm. Super cool. Oh, okay, you can have it. Is this gonna change or what? I just don't know if it's gonna change, Jenny. What do you want? Is to this? Change? I want it to go to the bigger. There we go. And so we were in Grand Cayman. I hope you can see this. I'll zoom it in. Hold on. Don't change map. You think it's listening to me? We were. Oh, dang it. So we we're in Grand Cayman, and now we have whipped a corner around Cuba, and we're almost back to Key West. So the goal is to get to Fort Lauderdale at 5:30 a.m., and I think we can get off the ship at 6:30. I think that's the plan yeah. uh, and that plan is going to be good if you quit eating all the canopy it's our last one I'm eating it all <sighs> you know how it is fellas she can have the whole canopy my canopy her canopy canopy is a French word somebody leave in the comments what it means does it mean uh, wife gets to eat it all I guess it does all right mmm They should have made that the dessert the whole week. If you eat one more bite of that canopy. All right. She looks so innocent. All right, we'll see you in a minute. This is our cruise director, Carlos, and the entertainment director. But more importantly, let's look and see who's up in the corner of the pictures. Look at that. That looks like a little lolly loga, Jenny. It does. Our first day here. Quit eating the canopy. Okay. Carlos has been a great cruise director. I agree. Mega, mega jackpot. Quick time check, it's 5.14. Our dinner at La Petite is at six. I don't know how we got ready so early, so we're going to go and sit at El Pacio. El Pacio. See, I'm gonna say it twice every time because I don't know how you say it. Uh, going to the coffee bar. This is what we've officially titled The Spot. It's the Spot. The Spot. I don't think I'm gonna have any coffee though before dinner. Are you gonna have coffee? Just gonna chill a bit and wait to go to La Petite. Here's, what, here's, the, here's the view. These nice high back yellow chairs, the lovely Jenny, Hi. and this leather back sofa. Some live music. Some live music. Awesome. 
It's starting to get sad. They're gonna be kicking us off. And an hour earlier. So sad. Well, we got a cool dinner. Tonight. It's not cruise day anymore. Not cruise day. New countdown begins. All right, 50 tomorrow will be 57 days for me to enjoy some building a friendship and relationships um, on the Carnival Vista, but you have something sooner, don't you? Yeah, so 27 days till I go wow. to Asia. 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 Yeah, I'm looking forward to hanging out with the local fam. She said she was looking forward to me being gone for 10 days. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Never. It is gonna be cool, the group cruise. Yeah. All right, well, we are going to uh, pass some time and then go to La Petite. La Petite? La Petite. La Petite. La Petite. I don't know. Like La Petite. La Petite. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Oh, this is so exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mandy. Watch this, Jenny. Magic. It's magic. No, no, I think so. Like, I want to try to do it. What? Do the magic. I thought maybe the plate is. But the plate is. That's the light from above. Yeah. Jenny's a master illusionist. Okay, this is too cool. I'm, I'm like way too excited just because there's a light on the plate. I think it's gonna be a lot more. Wedding. For my next trick, uh -huh. I will lift the lights. Are you ready? You have to do this to get the magic flowing. This is pretty amazing. Wow. What an illusionist. Where's the little man? He's not come out yet. <laughs> I'm ready for the little man.
Chef making the bouillabaisse, base, everything that he caught is right there in it. This is gonna be special. Here we go. It was the first course, it was super cool. We're gonna make a whole video that shows the whole dinner, so make sure you check for that. But uh, so far, so good. Thumbs up. This is a, an amazing experience. Can't wait to see what comes next. And uh, make sure you check out that video. Well, quick time check it is 7 39. We just got back from La Petite Chef. And uh, we were just hanging out with our room steward, Jonathan. So we want to introduce Jonathan to you. And uh, Jenny's already emotional. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I tell you what. Uh, and not because I'm leaving the cruise. Well, I mean, because I'm leaving the cruise. But I think the he's a nice man. The highlight of this cruise has been the service. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the waiters down in blue, uh, Hector and uh, Amelia, uh, the, the hostess. We had, yeah, we had so many... Uh, it was great. I mean, it really was great. And, you know, it's service that you didn't really have to press to get. It was just service that came your way and people knew your name and uh, the things that you needed. And, uh, yeah, so super cool. But, yeah, we've got we've got one more show to go to, right? We do. Nine o'clock. I think we're going to go back to the coffee bar, get a little coffee, get a little more energy. It's been a long week. Mm -hmm. But go to the final show and then and, uh, the, pack it up. The hurricane's called Dorian, just so you know, in case anybody's mad because I've been calling it Doreen, uh, <laughs> the Mouseketeer. But uh, I don't even know if that, that might even not have been a Mouseketeer, but Dorian, uh, who knows what it's going to do. But we're going to try to get home and or try to get back to port and get out of Florida. So uh, great time so far, and it, right. it's not over yet. So nope. keep tracking with us, and we'll uh, we'll show you the last show of the the last show of the cruise called Live. Live. And we'll show it to you, uh, well, it's recorded. It's life. It's called life. Life, Jenny. Why do you keep calling it live? <laughs> you do. It's been a long week, guys. Uh, but yes, uh, life. That cruise life. The cruise life. All right. Well, let, look. Let's introduce you to Jonathan. This we'll is Jonathan. You. He has been our room steward this week, and wow, uh, probably the best service we've ever had. So thank you, Jonathan. Hello. And I know that you said that uh, you're here and your daughter's at home. Do you yes. want to say hello to your daughter? I, I want to say hi to my wife, Christine, and my daughter, Justin, Kate, and Jay, Crystal. I love you so much. I miss you. Uh, uh, well, be good. <laughs> they, they should be super proud of you because uh, I tell you what, we probably wouldn't have got to go on the bridge tour today. We wouldn't have got to go behind the scenes and on the galley tour. And mm -hmm. so uh, thank you so much. And, and your family's at home in the Philippines, right? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, well, it's man, been my pleasure. It's been a great week. And thank you so much for everything you've done. It's been a really great, really great cruise. He is Jenny, why are you crying? Because. <laughs> Jenny gets so emotional. Well, because he's wonderful and hello to his family. That's right. Thank you, Jonathan. We appreciate it. My pleasure again. Thank you.
time check. It is about 10 o'clock. We just saw Life, the last show of the cruise. It was really good. It was really good. And the only thing left for us to do is pack. Now they did tell us because of Doreen, they're mm -hmm. going to dock in Fort Lauderdale about two o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna be able to do our self-assist debarkation at 6 a.m. So we yeah. may be off the cruise ship and back to our car by 7, 7.30. Let's hope. Let's hope. And uh, so yeah, there's nothing left to do but pack. So I think we're gonna wrap up this day. What a great cruise on the Celebrity Equinox. I hope you've enjoyed tracking along with us. Uh, be on the lookout for extra videos. It'd be a good reason to subscribe to the channel. Not only are you gonna get the vlogs, but you're gonna get the bonus, plus uh, cruise tips, cruise news, everything we do here at La Lita Loca. I hope you're having a good time. Thanks for tracking along with us. Thanks for being a part of the Loca fam. And Jenny, wow, uh, another cruise in the books. Another cruise in the books, I love you. It's a, well, I love you too. And I love you guys. It's a charm to life. Along. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it again. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca, and until the next cruise. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Bye.